What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Cal here from Buffalo Sports Center. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We are reading off Sabres hot takes that you guys have submitted on our Instagram. If you guys don't follow our Instagram, be sure to head over to Instagram and follow us. It's the same as the YouTube Buffalo Sports Center. We post a ton of stories and interactive content over there that gets your analysis, your opinions, and sometimes those opinions end up in YouTube videos over here, like today. So today we're reading off your hot takes for the Buffalo Sabres. These will all be anonymous because I did not ask for permission to use people's usernames. So, you know, in the future, maybe we'll incorporate that. But for now, these are all anonymous. I just picked out a couple that I found on our story asking for these. So let's get right into it. The first one is the that Lindy Ruff will win the Jack Adams Award. Now that would be coach of the year for those of you who don't know what that is. Personally, I could easily see this happening. Again, any coach that could get the Buffalo Sabres to the playoffs should and you know definitely will uh, at least be in contention for this award. Um, again, Lindy Ruff, his second time in Buffalo, has done it before, but since him, no other coach has been able to get this team and this uh, franchise to the playoffs. Again, it's tough when you have you know an owner that might not be as cooperative as you would like, you know, we've had a, a lot of dumb coaches, a lot of dumb assistant coaches, some really bad, talented teams. And then, um, yeah, let's not even get into the GMs over the years. So I think this is uh, definitely a possibility, but it's going to be tough because right now the odds are in favor of Sheldon Keefe, who starts off with the Devils this year. Again, that Devils team is very talented. And it's funny that he's number one because Lindy Ruff is coming from the Devils. And these two teams will face off uh, to start the season in uh, Prague. So. There is that. Travis Green is also a top pick for the Jack Adams this year with the Senators. And Andrew Burnett with the Predators. Again, he will be third in the odds. So right now, Lindy Ruff is 11th in the odds, uh, plus 2,000 odds to win the Jack Adams. Again, a lot of teams that are you know already expected to be good, their coaches usually wouldn't be in contention for this, uh, at least in early season projections, because you know, if you have a good team already and you get to the playoffs, it's not as much as an accomplishment as it is to get a team who hasn't sniffed the playoffs in like 14 years to the playoffs. So this is definitely a probability if Lindy Ruff is able to get this team to the playoffs, especially if they end up being, you know, a top team in the Atlantic. The next one is that Henry Yokiharu will be a top four D-man this year. Again, this is a, this is a hot take. Again, I've liked Yoki Haru throughout the years. I think he's steadily improved with the Buffalo Sabres. The issue is the Sabres have a lot of talent on defense, right? They got Darlene, Bowen Byram, Matias Samuelson, Owen Power. So there's four guys right now that I think are already better than him. And then you got guys, you know, to round it off, you know, Clegg, um, Ryan Johnson. We'll, we'll see if he ends up sniffing the lineup, um, Connor Clifton, and, you know, some other guys there in the mix. But Again, right now, I think Yoki Haru is the fifth best defenseman on the team. So this could easily happen, right? All you need is one of those top four guys to have a down year, which again, Samuelson didn't look good last year. Hopefully he's a little more healthy this year and looks a little better. But I think this is this is a hot take. I'm going to say no to this one right now. I think he ends up still being that fifth guy. But again, we'll see. The next hot take is that the Sabres will finish second in the Atlantic. Another one I'm going to have to kind of disapprove of, but it would be super sick to see the Sabres end up finishing second in the Atlantic. Again, I would be happy with playoffs. I don't care how we get in. It's just been so long, and I've been saying it year after year. If this team could just get in the playoffs once, it would attract so many more free agents. You know, it, Again, like like it's been rumored, Kevin Adams and the Sabres team, they're not respected right now. Again, nobody wants to make deals with the Sabres. Nobody wants to come to Buffalo in free agency because there's just been a lack of success. It's not about, oh, the city's a dump, oh, the, the weather. Those are just excuses. It's because the team cannot win. Once the team is you know a proven winner with the core they have, they will be able to get these rentals and star players in free agency a lot easier. So keep that in mind there. Hopefully they do finish second in the Atlantic, but I just don't see it happening. The next hot take is that Bowen Byram will score more goals than Rasmus Dahlin. Another one I'm going to have to shoot down right away. Bowen Byram is an offensive defenseman, and he I think he is going to surprise a lot of people with the amount of goals he scores. But I think Dahlin leads our, de, our uh, defensemen in goals this year once again. It just seems like something that's going to happen year after year. Um, and I'd expect Dahlin to get that captain patch pretty soon. Again, by the time this video comes out, he might already have it. Um, it's you know, pretty much all but announced that he will be the captain this year. So, I, I, again, I'll shoot this one down, but I think Rasmus Dahlin and Bowen Byron will both be big parts of our offense this year. 
The next hot take is that the Sabres will make a big trade at the deadline. And this is specified, not some kind of little trade at the deadline, a true big trade that puts them over the hump. Now, again, the Sabres have, haven't really been known to do this. It's been selling a lot in the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, when they do make additions, it's, you know, pretty small additions. You're, you know, you're not going to get a, an absolute stud. And um, again, I, I think Kevin Adams knows um, this is kind of a make or break year for him. If, if the Sabres miss the playoffs again, he might be toast. So I, I think if the Sabres are in contention, I think they do make a big trade. I'll approve this hot take. I'm all for it. I've been calling for this move for years. So hopefully they do make that big trade. Again, I don't care if you got to trade some prospects. We have way too many prospects. These guys can barely see the ice for the Amherst, let alone the Sabres when they get drafted. So yeah, I'm going to have to approve this one big time. The next hot take is that the Sabres will miss the playoffs again and Kevin Adams will be fired when the year comes to an end. Well, let me tell you something. If the Sabres do miss the playoffs, like I said before, I fully expect Kevin Adams to be fired after this season. Let's not think negative, though. Again, the Sabres, you know, they got a good core. So far in the preseason at the time of this recording, they're 2-0. They've looked great. Again, they've been playing AHL teams and... By the time this video comes out, they've already played a couple more games with their AHL team because they're on a plane over to Europe. But with that being said, again, the starters look great so far, but I can easily see this hot take coming true, right? I mean, why would I pick a team to make the playoffs that hasn't made the playoffs in the last, what, 14 years? I mean, again, I understand where you're coming from, but try to have a little positivity. Speaking of positivity, let's end this video on a hot note, on a fun note. The last hot take is that the Buffalo Sabres will win the Stanley Cup this year. Again, I'm going to have to shoot this one down. I, I really don't think there's any chance this happens. But you never know. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll have another uh, crazy season where there's, you know, some sort of pandemic and the, the Sabres get in the playoffs and they end up like the Montreal Canadiens. Out of nowhere, they make the Stanley Cup final because they get put in a weak division. The, the, the Canadians did not end up winning the Cup, but they made it all the way there. And um, you never know. But maybe the Sabres just, you know, thrive under Lindy Ruff and, you know, the city all of a sudden gets addicted to hockey again and we end up winning the cup. Could happen. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but it's highly unlikely. So that is it for now with this short Sabres hot take video. Again, if you guys want to see more videos like this where I incorporate your guys' feedback into the videos and give my opinion, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, and check out our Instagram and let us know about all of your opinions on our stories. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Peace out.